YouTube, 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 YouTube. Check this out, man. He is the former president of the United States ready to take on the throne once again, man. In the midst of trying to take on the throne again, somebody tried to take him out. They tried to take him out, y'all. Okay, we haven't had a presidential assassination attempt in a very, very long time. But we have had many successes in the past. Okay, and it looks like he's gotten together with one of the biggest streamers in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Arguably in the in the big three. Okay, you got Speed, you got Kai Sinatti, you got this specific person that we're talking about. Okay. Before we get into any of that, man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Rick, back with a brand new video, back with a brand new reaction. Before you get started, go smash that like button, subscribe for you new, leave a comment. That's something to react to, man. That sub button, come on. We're almost 2K, we right on the cusp. It's going to lower ourselves like so. You know how we get on Big Rick TV. And if you don't know, you probably ain't subscribed. So hit that sub button, man. Let's go ahead and get around right here. Okay. Boom! Okay, we got Mr. Donald Trump right here. Okay, got all his colleagues in the back, probably supporters, and you know staff and then you also got aiden ross right here okay donald trump breaks down the assassination attempt okay you already know donald trump's running with the uh the previous chant make america great again okay america's been through some things over the past i don't know four years four or five years you know you had 2020 you had covid and all those things it's just things have just been very weird so um, I don't know who's going to win the presidential election. I'm not going to get any into any of that. I will say he's got a he's got a really good chance right now, you know. But hit that sub button, man. Got eight minutes and 20 seconds. Let's get it. So Google is really crooked. It's horrible. Uh, when they had the word assassination up, because, you know, there yeah. was there was a big moment uh, a few weeks ago where I got whacked. I got right. There. I got whacked. And they got um, <laughs> they whether it's me or anybody else, that's it was a terrible thing. Terrible thing. That's terrible, bro. I'm glad Trump's okay, everything. man. And when you put up the name, the word assassination, it went to Lincoln. It went to many other people, JFK. many of whom I didn't even know there was an attempted assassination. Yeah. The only one it didn't have was Trump. Think of it. And when you yeah. put up the word assassination, it also sent you to Kamala. To come, and people were really angry at it. Look, something wrong with Google. I don't know if it's the people running it inside or the smaller people, so to speak. Well, the people what they that do. are actually doing the nuts and bolts. I doubt it. It's got to come from the top. And oh, it's, it's so illegitimate. They have to do something about it. And, I mean, the, the, the market speaks. Everybody should maybe just go off Google, not use it. There are so many other things. Watch your show instead. But there are so many things. Now, Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> called me, and he apologized. They actually had it where, you know, AI is dangerous. It's going to be with us, but it's very dangerous. They actually had the Secret Service agents were very brave because when I was being shot at, there were eight shots. And as soon as they heard that first gun, I, I did think I did a good job because I heard and I went down. You know, when you hear bullets, you tend to drop to the floor if you're intelligent. Yeah, of course. You're, you're right. not intelligent. Like, I don't think Joe would have dropped to the floor. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> no, oh, think Joe would have been gone. Going on. Hey, what's, hey, what's Joe would have been that? gone. Where are those bullets? Is that a bird? Oh, there they are. There yeah. Joe would have been gone, y'all. Uh, I don't think he would have been gone. you right now. Floor. Right. But anyway, but... Joe uh, would have been gone. It's... Uh, when, you, when you hear this and when you see what's going on, and he called up, and there's a very iconic picture that was taken, oh, but there's a number of them, actually, but there's one in particular that was very iconic, and it's been on the covers with the fists up, and the secret agents, service agents, and, and, you know, I know they're going through a little bit of a questioning period. Let me tell you, these people were brave mm. because those bullets were coming at me, and I heard them. They were whizzing over my head. I had the one here, and I went down, and those, they were whizzing over, and I had seven people, maybe, a lot of people, a lot of very big people on top of me within seconds. Right. And a lot of people that I know would not have, they would not have done that. Aiden, I'm telling you, when bullets are coming right over you, yeah. and you got people willing to, I, that's I a good feeling. Them, they expected to that's die. That's a cool feeling. They it's their job. But that's a cool feeling. I understood that. Yeah. The other thing that happened that was amazing is within five seconds, the sniper, the Secret Service yep. sniper, from a much further distance, one bullet, and didn't know about it. Now that was it was a communication problem, a big one, and had it taken place, you know. 10 seconds earlier would have been good.
but there was a communications problem. But he supposedly, I don't think he knew. I mean, I've gone through it, too. I don't think the sniper knew anything about it. He may have heard there could be a problem, but he didn't know anything about it. Think of it. A thing like that happens. He went by the gun and the fire of the gun. And I guess when the bullets come out, you see fire. Right. And he was able to see that from probably more than 300 yards away. So that's three football fields. That's a lot. That's crazy. And one bullet took him out. And if he didn't shoot him, you would have had probably a lot of people dead. Right. That's a good probably shot. Probably a lot of people would have been dead. He had a lot of bullets up there. He had a, a powerful gun, and he had a lot of bullets up there. And uh, the reason he stopped was he got hit. Uh, five seconds. That's a pretty amazing job when you think, you know, it's sort of a surreal experience. Right? Yeah. And you could say that for them, too. And they go years, and they don't have to do that. They don't have to shoot people. And then all of a sudden, they're confronted, and they see somebody firing. And a lot of people wouldn't react like that. They wouldn't, you know, they'd say, let's call in and find out what's going on. Right. His reaction time, I think, was amazing. So there was a, a big communication problem, and they'll get that straightened out. But uh, the people, the Secret Service people were very brave, and that sniper was very talented to hit the target, hit a target like that yeah. from so far away. Right. Um, I, I, you know, Mr. President, I do want to say, first of all, um, you took a bullet for everyone in this room, everyone watching, you, everyone, everyone. The reaction that you gave, no other president is going to do that. They're going to either remain you know where they are you you are you are you are a brave man you you stood up and went like this and uh that was a pretty badass picture by the way well you know the, uh, <laughs> it was hard you I, can't I deny it was that. hard the audience it was, was hard very brave also the the of fans the, the people and it's much more than maga it's many men many magas almost everybody <laughs> because it's can't what we talk we about. did that yeah but all of those people would Tens of thousands of people, as far as the eye could see, and then the people in the back. And those are the people you see because the cameras are focused on that. You know, we have the bleacher in the back with, I don't know, 100 to 150 people or something. But those people never moved. And if you go to crowd, we had a, like a crowd control type person said, whenever a bullet is fired, they know a bullet and they know a sound. And we had a lot of bullets fired. So when you think of it, plus the Secret Service, uh, whenever a bullet's fired, everybody empties out immediately. They immediately leave and they empty out the whole state. And they call it a stampede, like in cattle. Yeah. And people, a lot of people get killed with stampedes. You know, they get literally oh, yeah. walked over. over. They yeah. get, oh, yeah. Many people die in soccer stadiums. That, you know, when they, but when a bullet goes off, everyone leaves. Almost every time. Yeah. Nobody left. And you had the man behind me. He's looking like this. He's looking. He's looking. There was no fear. It was amazing. They knew that I was in trouble. They saw that. They saw the blood, because the blood, I guess you get hit in the ear. It's a ble I can tell you, a lot of blood when you get hit in the ear. That's one thing we learn. We learn all these things, unfortunately. But they saw there was a, a big problem. Normally, when they hear that, they're all, you know, they disperse. Nobody left. I mean, you take a look at that. Now, that was a microcosm of what was out in front of me, because the speech was being made yeah. to thousands of people. Right. And, and nobody there was leaving either. It was really amazing. They knew there was a problem. And when I got up, they were confused because uh, Secret Service was lifting me. I guess I was getting up, and I'm looking for my shoes. I didn't want to go on a, uh, you know, they had stretchers and stuff. I didn't want to go on stretchers. I didn't want to do that. But it was amazing. And, and they were confused because you could be up, but you're not looking too good. And I felt it was important to let people know that I was okay, and our country was okay, in a true sense that our country was okay. And so I did that, and the audience was just, they were, they were I mean, USA, USA, it was yeah. wild. It was, a, it was a hell of a horrible experience, but I learned a lot about the love in this country. Think of it, a bullet goes off, everyone leaves, and his bullets going off. They just again a true hero. They were no, but they yeah, were. They were dedicated they were, for they sure. They, they the way they didn't move, the way they you have to watch that group behind because that was the same as the group in front, the big group. And and it wasn't like geez, you know normally they say let's get out of here. Yeah, How do we do that's this? true. They were. They and saw walked. I was in trouble. Yeah, and they didn't want to move. No. And many of them were standing up and they were looking. One man in particular with a floppy hat and wearing like a black T-shirt. And uh, he's, 
he's out there just looking. It's a fascinating uh, thing to see. And when, when you hear crowd control people say, we can't even imagine that happened, that shows their love, love for me, maybe, but for the country. And it was, it was pretty amazing. That's great. Thanks, That's dope, so, man. That's dope, y'all. You know, um, you know, despite your differences or um, picks and politics, you know, Trump, Trump, you know, Trump did take that bullet. Am I lagging? Like I was lagging. You know, Trump took that bullet and um, he's still in the race, man. He's trying to make things right. He's trying to, you know, um, may the best candidate win, you know. Um, what is that? Coming on in November, they're going to decide, you know, whoever it is, is who it is, y'all. Hit that sub button, comment down with what y'all think. We're almost 2K. We out. <laughs>